Yoink. It is a good sign that we might find some things. This is our gopher snake. I don't think this is gonna be the most common snake we see today, but it is one of the most common snakes out here and is almost in every one of our videos. So beautiful snake. This one is, let's see, uh, one, two, three, three and a half, maybe four feet, um, four feet long, yeah. I think it was about four feet long. So a good sized gopher snake. We've certainly seen them bigger, but he is very active this morning, moving around quite a lot. It's still pretty early and temperatures are cool. So he is just using that sunlight to warm up. And you can see he's got a pretty plain belly. We do see some variation where snakes in different areas uh, will sometimes have more yellow on them. But this guy has been really cooperative. So we're gonna let him uh, get back to sunning himself and hopefully find a whole mess of other things to share with you. All right, so coming through here, there's often a snake or two sunning itself in this area. I don't see any yet. a little cool oh I found one right there I see a rattlesnake let me see if we can get a better look but that is our southern pacific rattlesnake the subspecies of the western rattlesnake all right so there's a lot of vegetation in the way so hopefully you can get a good look there we go and you can see he's coiled up but his tail is actually sticking out and then back there you can just make out the rattle um this is a medium sized one and very dark in color they can definitely be much lighter and have more sort of rectangular or diamond blotches on the back um, but this guy i think i've seen him in years past because there's almost always a rattlesnake in this area and he is always very very dark in color like this so probably the same one uh, that we saw last year here so i'm glad to see that he is doing well now there's no need to disturb him he's not he is right where he needs to be and uh, he hasn't even rattled at us at all this whole time so we're just going to leave him and move on and see if uh, there's any more snakes around all right we've got another rattlesnake so definitely a good day for them you can see this one actually has a bit more pattern um, it's still very dark in color but it has that more sort of diamond shape on the back and um uh and it looks like this one's a little smaller a little bit younger than the first one we saw but pretty similar so nice to see that the uh the southern pacific rattlesnakes are out today um even though I'm kind of hoping for garter snakes. So let's keep going. Hey adventurers, I love doing this hike in the Santa Monica mountains right at the beginning of the summer when the toads are just barely sort of metamorphosizing out of their tadpole stage and into uh, their sort of adult form. But I think I might've mistimed it. I haven't found any toads on this trail yet, but this is a great place even without that to see the two striped garter snakes. And it's also a good place to see other snakes as well. So we're gonna come by here. I usually see some snakes in this area. They really like the grassy areas and hopefully there will be uh, some stuff to see. There may even be something back there. All right, we got a garter snake. Now I saw one earlier, so this is actually number two, but I lunged for it and uh, it got away. It, it spotted me before I spotted it, but hopefully this one will stay still. You can see it in the reeds, just laying down there. This is a small one, just enjoying the, the uh, I guess the overcast weather. Now we're gonna get a little bit closer. Hopefully it doesn't take off. And we're gonna see if there are any others nearby because this is a very popular spot for them so usually on a good day we could have a couple others sunning themselves nearby as well it just looks like this is the only one but you can see if we'll zoom out you know you could easily have another one sunning itself there or did something just move here maybe not sure but 
Anyway, oh, <laughs> and there it goes. Is that a snake? Looks like we might have something here. If you look closely, that looks like the side of another gopher snake. Let's uh, go up, double check that there aren't any rattlesnakes nearby. Yeah, that is definitely a gopher snake. Look at how well it is hidden there. Oh, it comes all the way over here. Oh, there it's head, I can see it's head. Buried in the grass there, but beautiful snake. This one is a little bigger than the last one, looks like. One, two, three, four, maybe four feet and a bit, maybe four and a half. So definitely a beautiful looking snake. I'm glad we got another one for the day. There you go. Bye bye. Whoa. I almost walked right past this guy. I came up that way. Snakes have such good camouflage. Here is another two-striped garter snake. Let's see. Oh, we can get all right close to him. Look at that. Now he's aware of us now. Oh, oh. And I can't believe I missed him. I can't believe I just let him get away. Ugh, well, I always feel a little silly when that happens. I'm obviously trying to handle both the camera, uh, which is my phone in my hand, while looking at the snake and trying to observe at the same time. And sometimes I just fumble and the snake gets away. But we did get a close look anyway. And uh, you know what? If we see another one, I'll be sure to actually take a quick hold of him so we can see sort of the field marks a little bit better. That blue speckling on the side can always be really neat. So... We'll keep a lookout. There's probably more out there today. That is uh, snake number seven. So although I think we missed time this adventure a little bit, we seem to be a little bit too late in the season for those toads. We have been here earlier in the season, but at that point we were too early. And, but we're still doing pretty well. We've seen seven snakes, although I got an eighth, another two-stripe garter snake that just bolted, was way too fast for me. Um, and I even saw a tail of a ninth snake, although I don't like to count it because I didn't get any footage of it. But you can see there's definitely a lot of snake activity. We've only been here for about maybe an hour and a half at this point. So we definitely timed it well during the day. There's definitely a good amount of snakes that are active. We may even see another one or two before we go on to our next location. So let's see what else is out today. So right here, you can see we have branches here and there's a couple bumps right there. Another one here. And I'll lift this one out of the water a little bit so you can see it better. But that is the egg sac for some newts. Um, these would be California newts in this area. Well, today was definitely a mixed bag. We did all right. We saw a good number of snakes, but I was hoping for more. We really didn't do well at all on the amphibians. I didn't really focus on lizards today, but we did have the usual suspects uh, in the area. But this is kind of how herping goes as we move more and more into summer in California. It gets hotter, it gets drier, and certain species are a little bit harder to find. It's a little bit harder to be predictable with things. And often, road cruising can be some of the best way to find things. Now, we don't have time to go road cruising tonight, and so we did rely on being in cooler climates out here in the coastal Santa Monica Mountains where snakes are still very active during the day. I don't even think it got up to 70 five today. It was pretty much in the low 70s or even the 60s all day. So thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. It helps me a lot. I'm Greg Schechter. This is Schechter Natural History and I'll see you in the field.